Hey up. Good morning folks. It's uh, Farmer Daly here at Cannon Hall Farm on a lovely morning. Never gets old that view, does it? Um, as you might be able to tell, it's time for some feeding for the horses. Sapphire here, just behind me, is after some hay. Uh, as are the rest of them. We've got the foals just behind there, and just behind me here, we've got Blossom and Silver. Anyway, they do need some snap this morning. A little bit of hay is what they're wanting, and that'll keep them chewing away and happy for a little while. So um, I'm going to crack on with it. We'll get us barra, big old green barra, and get some food going for these lot. Somebody is already well on with their breakfast. Look at that. One of our short-owned cows who gave birth recently. Looks like the little calf, little effort, is also having its breakfast, just looking to have a bit of a drink of milk. Anyway, we best get on with what we came to do, because I think we're going to do it itself. We need the big green barra. Big green barra. Now, hopefully, we should get enough in here to be able to just do it all in one, but we will see. There's definitely not enough here there to get it started. So we'll have to cut a new bale. So, there is a little bit of an art to doing the hay for the horses because they will waste a fair bit. They like to drag it out and tread it into the floor. So, that you want them to have enough so that they can be comfortable. They want enough so they can be grazing all day, basically. But, sometimes, if you give them too much, it will inevitably get wasted. So, a bit of a balance, same with anything. And you just sort of eventually figure out what the right amount is. But We'll crack on, Sapphire is looking very, very keen and definitely wants some breakfast. Breakfast time, girl. Ready? Apparently a little bit of drive-by breakfast is in order. Come on. Come on, you. <laughs> breakfast waits for no lady. Right, so that should be enough to keep Sapphire going for well, the day. We'll top up again tonight, obviously, when she's a little bit more so she can eat overnight, keep chewing away. But we have recently found out she's in full. So we need to make sure we're looking after you, don't we? Giving you all the food and everything that she could need. Right, we'll, uh, we'll leave her to it, enjoy her breakfast. We've still got a couple more to do yet, so we'll move on and uh, give a little bit for the falls. Somebody else who's enjoying the breakfast, Ted. Absolutely loving it this morning. Right, so next up is there's two young colts for this year. Elliot. These are have, these have got some hard food as well, so they're just eating up the remains of that actually. Looks like they've knocked a bit on the floor. So Elliot and Hercules over there as well. But nevertheless, they're having a bit of solid food, hard food, but they do need hay as well. Plenty of growing to do, aren't you? So we'll get these a bit next. Not too interested. <laughs> They're uh, much more interested in that solid food. They'll, um, they will get round to eating that here. Eh? Once I've eaten up everything else, they'll get round to having a bit of air for, for lunch, I suppose. So up next, doing the same behind me, is Rosie. The lovely, lovely Rosie. The spilly fall from this year from Orchid, so up next. Just started raining, of course. It doesn't matter just how lovely it looks. Yorkshire's always got a uh, bit of bad weather in mind for you. So Rosie here is something else. I don't know if everyone probably does know her story, but just in case you don't, she's an absolutely beautiful horse. But when she was first born, she had some real problems. We weren't really sure that she was gonna make it, to be honest. Um, what do they call it? Dummy fall syndrome, I think. Basically, um, she wouldn't, she wasn't able to get up and drink when she was first born. Big, big problem for an horse like this. Anyway, we were a bit sceptical. We didn't think she was necessarily going to make it. But as it turns out, she's doing absolutely amazing. She's incredible. Her condition, the way she looks, how big she is, and her personality as well. 
She's uh, she really is a fantastic young horse. So we're really really happy, and we're hoping, hoping that she might be uh, heading to the show circuit at some point. Anyway, looks like she's ready for some breakfast, so I'll pop some in the feeder for her. Right, um, two more to go. We've got Blossom and we've got Silver. We're just at the end, a little bit for them. Then job done. Right, now these two, if anybody's troublemakers, it's these two. Blossom can get a little bit too giddy in the morning, can't you, sweetheart? But you've just got to be a little bit careful when you're going with them. They're not going to try and hurt you, but they are going to try and... <laughs> They are going to try and get to the hay, um, both at the same time, which isn't ideal, so you've just got to be a bit careful. Well, they do get on like a... Um, they do get on fine, these two, but when it comes to food, they are a bit possessive. It's fairly normal for us, so you've just got to make sure you're feeding them separately. Right, folks, job done, all fed, hopefully. Should keep them nice and happy. Blossom and Silver there. I'm just deciding who's going to be the first to, <laughs> to get to the piles of hay. Um, looks like Silver's lost that battle. So, for now, we'll leave them to it, let them get the breakfast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later, and I'll see you.